So we'll continue from the last video. We've got a file open. And what we want to do is some quick editing on this, just, just to get started, to take a look at a bit at the workflow. And uh, uh, this is what I usually do. I start by clicking down in the bottom right here uh, in the Layers dialog to duplicate that layer. Why? Well, uh, it, it is destructive editing. So as we work on this thing, we're going to change the actual pixels. This way, I always have a reference to let me look at uh, what it was like originally. And all I would have to do is turn the eye off on the top layer, and I'll see through to the bottom. One key thing, I'm selecting back and forth between the top layer and the bottom layer. Whichever layer you want to work on, make sure that layer is selected. One of the number one problems I see is that the student will have the wrong layer selected and work on it and, th and then not see the changes. I'll do a quick example. I'll select the bottom layer. I'll use the pencil tool. It's set to black and start drawing and nothing is happening. Well, if I make the top layer invisible, we hide it, you can see my scribbles there. I'll just click undo. We'll get rid of that and uh, we'll make the top layer visible again. Let's just go twice. There we go. And now you can see that that, uh, that layer is hidden. Or sorry, we, you can see that the scribbles are gone. Okay, so once again, um, we're going to start on the top layer. And there's a couple quick things I like to do right at the beginning. The first one is I want to crop this image. So I'll click the crop tool and that will crop both layers, by the way. That's the way it goes. Um, there's no real way around that. But I want to bring this in a little bit closer. I like the picture. Uh, and the main thing I want people to focus on is that bird, which was caught in flight. Just a, a, a fluke, really, with a shot with an iPhone. So you select. That's the crop tool. Click in the middle once you've made your selection. And now I can zoom in by holding down the control and scroll wheel. Or I could also click down here and set that to whatever size I want. 50% actually looks like it fits in there pretty good. And we can scroll back and forth here or up and down. Actually, this is, you can't scroll now because, of course, the, the picture fits inside the window. Okay, I like that image. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, there's still no difference. If we hide the top layer, of course, what we see uh, is the same as the underneath layer. Next thing that we might do is, um, uh, is go in and maybe adjust some of these colors. And the quickest and easiest way to do that is to go Colors, Auto, and Color Enhance. Okay, so now we're going to see a difference between that top layer and the bottom layer. Uh, I, I like that. It actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. I don't always keep it, but it, yes, I'm going to keep it just like that. I might even crop this a little bit more. Let's just do that quickly here. Just tighten this up a little bit, uh, maybe to, to there. There, I like that. That's better. All right, next thing that I want to do is I want to do more work in the colors. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go colors and curves. This is like the number one. This is the default. And I've read, I've heard that one of the ways to quickly use curves and effectively is to make an S. So you pull up on the top and pull down on the bottom here. Uh, and that actually, wow, that's, that's not bad. I like that. That's quick. Uh, I often find that students will overdo it. Okay, they'll drag these a little too far and it starts to get a little too contrasty or a little blown out. So what you can do is maybe drag this, maybe set it, and then just take it back a little bit afterwards. Uh, and hopefully find a place where you, where you feel pretty good about it. I'm going to click OK. And this image is coming along quite nicely. If you look at the difference between the two, this this looks uh, it looks sharper and, and brighter and a, a little more alive than the, the sort of flat image that was taken with the phone. The third thing that I might do is go into Colors and adjust the exposure. And this can also be quite effective. Let's just, oh yeah, look at that. Just a little bit of exposure. Wow, I like that. And, uh, or sorry, black level. And maybe your exposure as well too. No, I don't wanna, don't think I'm gonna change that by much. I, I like it right there. I just a subtle change and I'll click okay. And if I hit control Z, you'll see the difference between those two. It's, uh, it's, it's fairly dramatic. Uh, we can so undo is Control Z uh, to redo is Control Y. So let's we could click up there, but I'll just hit Control Y and it redoes that. I'm going to save this. I kind of got this to where I want it already, and uh, you can see the Whiskey Jack had a uh, an almond in its mouth, which was in Charles' hand. It picked it up and and flew right at me. And it, again, it was just a lucky shot. But uh, I like how this is looking. So yes, make sure you save it or Control S, and that's it for now.